looking down from the skies of Gilgit Baltistan or Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, one can see the true harmony of nature with its intricate balance laid out in front of our eyes. What truly makes these areas unique, though, are its inhabitants. With civilizations that are eons old, hosting cultures that have survived the test of time, history has indeed been monogamous towards the people who live in the skies. However, a dark cloud looms just around the corner. Pakistan is a very climate vulnerable country and within Pakistan the area which is most vulnerable are the northern areas and the northern part of KP. Our glaciers are melting at a faster rate than in the past. There are about over 3,000 lakes, small and big lakes, which have the potential of uh, causing damage to people living downstream. <laughs> انسان بھی حیوانات بھی پودے بھی اور ہماری جو کچھ مال جائیداد ہے بہت بری طرح متاثر ہوتے ہیں بہت ڈر لگتے ہیں کہ کہاں جاؤں کیا کروں کیا نہ کروں To build the resilience of communities living in the disaster-prone areas, government, with the support of UNDP, launched the reducing risks and vulnerabilities from the glacial lake outburst floods in northern Pakistan, GLOF project in 2011, to address the adverse effects of climate change in KP and Gilgit Baltistan. The capacity building sessions, community structures as well as the much-needed infrastructural development be it the development of flood protection walls or the installation of early warning systems was in many regards considered a successful initiative as it was the first of its kind at the time. However, there was much left to be desired. Our uh, GLOF1 project was uh, very successful and produced many results. However, it was limited in scope it didn't involve to the large extent the communities and provinces. Our GLOF2 project is designed in a manner that we will engage the communities. The GLOF2 project is hence building upon the learnings of GLOF1 by casting a much wider net based on extensive surveys and their findings. This has led to an ambitious drive covering the northern areas of Pakistan five districts of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa and ten districts of Gilgit Baltistan. The idea behind this project is basically to, to mitigate the effects of these disasters and basically to educate the local population as to what are those signs that a lake can become a, a dangerous lake. The project is establishing community-based organizations or CBOs in all target districts. These CBOs are undergoing awareness raising sessions, followed by capacity building training to equip them with knowledge that would better prepare them as resilient communities. Besides ensuring protection of lives, the project aims to develop sustainable livelihood options through food security by adopting techniques such as water-efficient farming technologies for increased yield of vegetation. Automatic weather stations have proven to be immensely successful in collecting and providing data that helped understand weather patterns of our disaster-prone areas in the past. Under GLOF2, not only have the automatic weather stations been procured on a much larger scale to be deployed in strategic locations, Discharge measuring equipment and small infrastructures will also be installed to reduce risks of flood. On the policy side, institutional capacity building remains top priority, with baseline information being collected from all related departments. 
policy development, strategic frameworks, and climate change adaptation action plans are being developed. An effort to streamline the project implementation in a productive and sustainable manner. Climate change is a serious threat for Pakistan, and our Prime Minister realizes that, and so he's put it in his top four agendas. As it is very clear that Pakistan's future is linked to dealing with this huge issue. So I think this is really a project that Pakistan desperately needs. It is something that we have to do now. So this GLOF2 project is very well timed. Together with the Ministry of Climate Change, we will be equipping the communities with infrastructure and equipment, with livelihoods, but most importantly, we will empower women with knowledge and capacities to be together with the entire community, make communities more resilient and be able to cope with the impact of the disasters. Climate change is real, and it has become omnipresent, showing signs in every corner of the globe. For the people of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa and Gilgit Baltistan, while there is little they can do to avert the course of nature, they can certainly adapt to it. Owing to the brilliance of human intellect and their innate inner fortitude, hopefully horrors of yesterday will stay as memories never to be reprised. अब मुझे सैलाब से डर नहीं लगता क्योंकि ग्लोब वालों ने कि हमें आगाही दिया कि यहां पे सारे जो रिस्क एरियाज सेफ एरियाज हैं और अगर बारिश ज्यादा हो जाए तो फिर नदी नालों को बंद कर देंगे तो फिर कोई हमारे लिए कोई खतरा नहीं हो सकता है अभी नाले में बंद वेदर होने से ये गैरेशेस जो आएंगे वो भी कम होगा हमें उम्मीद है यहां बच जाएंगे और अभी नुकसान नहीं होगा ना शोर तो हम में आ गए कि सैलाब पे किस तरह मुकाबला करना है किस तरह निमर्श आजमा होना है उसके लिए हम तैयारियां कर रहे हैं हम इस उम्मीद से है कि अगर इस ग्लाशियर ग्राफ्टिंग का सिलसिला जो है अगर ये पूरा हुआ तो इंशाल्लाह हम खुशखसाली से बच जाएंगे हमारी जमीनें आबाद हो जाएंगे बहुत सारे मसाइल दूर हो जाएंगे